Breast cancer starts within the breast, uh, the specifically uh, the ducts of the breast, uh, the milk ducts, and usually that's most common, so it's known as ductal carcinoma. It can also start in the fat lobules of the breast, specifically lobular cancer, that's not as common, and it can spread from the breast. The breast has draining lymph nodes, and it can drain from the breast to those lymph nodes and can go to the lymph nodes in the axilla, which are considered regional lymph nodes for where the breast drains to or it can actually even spread to other areas of the body as well, which is not as common, but can happen. Most commonly, there are actually no symptoms. So it's really important to get routine screenings and mammograms, and sometimes MRIs or ultrasounds, especially if you have dense breast tissue. If you do have symptoms, usually you feel a lump. It can be a small size and over a period of time that can grow. Sometimes you can get pain, you can get dimpling of the skin, you can get nipple retraction, you can get a bloody discharge from the nipple as well. So if any of those symptoms are arising, that would be signs to look out for. Generally, it develops over a period of time, sometimes weeks, sometimes months. It depends on how fast the cancer cells are actually growing, and there's a huge spectrum in breast cancer. There are some that are considered more the slower growing cancers or more aggressive or faster type cancers.